breaking news, Robin, this morning. And we want to get right to that, David. The U.S. confirming Iran shot down an American drone. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, starts us off with the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. This is a significant and dangerous provocation. There have been a spate of attacks blamed on Iran in recent weeks, but this is a direct attack on a U.S. military asset. This drone is one of America's most sophisticated unarmed surveillance aircraft. The U.S. says the drone was operating in international airspace over the Strait of Hormuz, that narrow but vital oil shipping waterway, when it was struck by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. Iran does not deny shooting down the U.S. aircraft, but claims it was in Iranian territorial airspace. The commander of the Revolutionary Guard Corps saying our borders are our red line. Any enemy that violates them will not return and will be destroyed, adding that Iran does not intend to engage in war with another country, but saying Iran is ready, Robin. And you say that, that they're claiming that their border is the red line. What can the U.S. do about that? Well, you've heard President Trump downplay the attacks on the oil tankers, but again, this is a U.S. military asset. But the U.S. also has to be careful not to overreact. The Iranians may want a retaliatory strike to garner support at home and from allies in the region, but this will be urgently discussed here at the highest levels, Robin. All right, Martha, thank you. We're going to bring in our contributor, Colonel Steve Ganyard, for more on this. And, and so what is your take on all that we're reporting this morning, Steve? Robin, uh, unfortunately, uh, the U.S. and Iran are getting very close to war. Uh, the, a country's sovereign airspace goes out to 12 nautical miles. If this U.S. drone was outside that 12 nautical miles, it had every legal right to be there, and the Iranian shoot-down was completely illegal. So it's a, it's a very tense situation, and the U.S. Is, is going to have to respond in some way. I know that we're claiming it's, it's international airspace, but as you alluded to, it's, it's, a, it's a very defined and, and small area. Is there any chance that it may have wandered into that territory? It's possible. It's possible, Robin. The U.S. Navy and, and U.S. military forces are going to have to confirm that this drone didn't inadvertently stray into Iranian airspace or over Iranian territory. If we have that confirmation, then we know that what the Iranians did was illegal. So what, what happens next, do you think, Steve? Uh, I, I think the Iranians are putting on a brave face uh, right now, saying we're ready for war. They are completely overmatched by U.S. military might. And so the question is, did they make a mistake and inadvertently shoot this drone down, or did they do it deliberately in an attempt to goad the U.S. into military response? People want to know. All right, Steve Ganyer, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.